Greetings and salutations. This is welcome to the Tim and Borg Show. In today's episode, we're going to do the Measure of Morality Part Two. So it's good that this epic long mission is divided into two, but it took an hour and a half yesterday, so it's probably going to take that long as well today. I don't know. Hopefully not. Anyway, this one's going to have. Um, it's going to be harder than the first one, I think. So, all more fun. We'll see anyway. Hail. Looks like the Excalbians are ready to resume the trials. As you know, our participation is required, whether we like it or not. Under the circumstances, keeping them waiting isn't wise. So true, Seven of Nine. Okie dokie, I accept. Looks like some nice uh, rewards from the mission. Alright. Until next time. Until next time, which will be. Very soon. I'm still using the same person from the last mission, and I haven't really changed anything. Um, I think that I'm because there's a big space battle. Probably should have. Yeah, I need more Healy stuff. I change that to energy siphon. Um, okay, that'll help me heal. Sorry, wasting time. Okay, let's begin. Oh, I've got to do one thing or I'll forget everything. You always got to go like loadouts, save, because of bugs, and Janeway hologram. Accept. Let's hope we don't have any bugs today. Alright, hello. Speak. We have seen many things in the trials. Your actions have given us much to consider, but we require more data. I think this has gone on long enough, Yannick. Release us. You can remove yourself from the trials if you so desire. I believe you are aware of the consequences such an action will bring. Yep, you've been quite clear on that one. Then, if you wish to proceed, the portal awaits. Uh, we know the drill, Yannick. The next trial lies this way. Sorry about background noises, that's just my cat. go through this cool portal. This is incredible. The architecture, the technology, the art. It's not like anything I've ever seen before. Where are we? <laughs> well, we still only have Michael with us. I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Okay. Um, no seven. Anyway, some of the tech looks Iconian, but I can't be certain. The Excalvians have dropped us into another planetary assault by the look of things. There's a battle site ahead. We might be able to learn more about our surroundings by examining it. Agreed. Keep your eye open for hostile forces, though. We don't want them getting the drop on us. Examine body. Fascinating. According to my tricorder, these soldiers are from extinct species. The Dinosians and the Ichabar. Oh, I'm getting the same readings here. Several extinct species, Iconian tech. I think this battle is the fall of Iconia. If so, we might be able to stop the chain of events that eventually lead to the Iconian War in our time. Considering the previous trials, I can see that as the pivotal event we were sent here to encounter. I think you're right. Let's see what else we can find here. That last hit wasn't far from here. We can have heavy gunfire nearby. Keep your weapons handy. More fighting ahead. 
Wait. Are those Iconians? More Iconian pets. Kill them! Let them die with their master! To get of Iconia. You are not known to us. Halt and identify yourself. I am Admiral 12 of 2016 Subjunct Unimatrix 01 of the United Federation of Planets. I do not recognize your species, but you have taken up arms to defend Iconia. That makes you an ally, and your assistance is appreciated. You have my thanks. I'm just a human who has been assimilated by the Borg and was liberated. You're welcome. I am called Lemirin. My thanks to you as well, newcomers. Our situation is quite dire. Mtara, our leader, has fallen. Iconia will soon be lost to our enemies. We must withdraw. We were trying to reach a nearby gateway when those soldiers attacked. Their reinforcements could arrive at any moment. Will you help us once again? We will do what we can, indeed. Orbital attack. The warfare of cowards. What was that? Hmm. Oh, on the map there, there's a bunch of bad guys over there. In that direction. For each herald they kill, I will take a hundred of theirs. For each I call you, a thousand. What happened then? All of this. The loss they must feel. And the anger. To go over here. Look back down to the garden. What is this lag? Stop that. Hold. Reading an energy spike in the gateway ahead. Something's activating it. No, there will be no holding. We will fight. Slay any foe that dares to cross our path. Once more under the breach, dear friends, once more. Henry V. Nice. No, oh, I love this seven Michael dynamic. This is awesome. Head to the gateway platform. It's probably down the end. 
It's nice to go do this map again. I remember this from the original Iconian missions. Uh, I used to grind all the time. I remember doing them for the channel as well. It's to get or something. I don't know. She lost her arm in the battle with the Klingon guy. What was his name? I have returned to the time of my greatest failure. It sickens me to see the hell I call you in such a state, fed to ruin by the barbaric dregs of the galaxy. This time, I shall not fail. The mirror, give me the world heart. Give me the means to rid the cosmos of our enemies. To return Iconia to greatness once more. Another to care? I hear the bloodlust in your voice. I see the hatred burning in your eyes. But you do not frighten me. The world heart is ours. We will use it to rebuild what has been lost. Be gone from here, demon. You will not prevail on this day. She's right. This is a fight you can't win. That energy is protecting the demon. I can disable the gateway to stop that, but I need time. God, I'm gonna die. You fought a war with the Iconians and survived? Oh, I've lost Janeway 60, 86 meters away. Whoops. Damn, maybe I should just the let The gateway is ready. Use the console in front to shut it down. Oh, yeah? Okay. Whoops. Should have noticed that I lost Janeway. The gateway is down, but someone on the other side is powering it back up. Defend yourselves. is restored. I will signal you when I am ready once more. It's pretty dynamic. Do, do, um, do I say that right? I quickly need to use this. The gateway is ready. What was that? The console in front to What's the power I used? Oh well, at least now I'll get Janeway back, she can help me. Come on. Yep. Off she goes, look at her. She's so efficient, just like a Borg. The gateway is ready. Use the console in front to shut it down. The gateway is down. But someone on the other side is powering it back up. Defend yourselves. Hmm. Whoops. Maybe I should have done this with my main team, the engineer. He probably would have survived. It's pretty hard. Science officer, I don't, I don't really have the best ground set up on this guy. So when my uh, my kit stuff leaves something to be designed, I don't think my ground gear is fully upgraded or anything. The gateway is restored. I will signal you when I am ready once more. Oh, we've lost Janeway. She's dead. Oh man, I'm gonna die. Hold it. 
that space. Ah, oh, that's what it's like. The space. Is ready. Use the console in front to shut it down. Uh, shut down gateway. The gateway is down, but someone on the other side is powering it back up. Defend yourselves. <laughs> I don't even have any healing things. I need some batteries or something. I don't want to be able to use my guys. Yeah. Yeah. What's it being used on? Tribble. Oh, I've got two tribbles, that's a problem. It's not yours to take further. Cool cutscene. What is this? Honored mistress, use this to restore your strength. Yes, you serve me well, Akeem. A ticket of nightmare, utterly corrupted by hatred and a thirst for vengeance. But what did she become? Yeah, they're called the Borg. I used to be one of them as well. They're a collective of oppressive cybernetic entities. They're controlled by a queen who's oppressive. But uh, she might change her mind one day, you never know. I have seen terrible things on this day. The fall of my civilization, of my beloved friends, of the totality of Iconian knowledge and culture. I cannot abide these tragedies. I cannot. Please, you can follow that monster. You can go where I cannot. I beseech you. Return the world heart to me. Do not let Iconia fall to darkness. Where is she? I don't know. I'm not sure where she is. Anyway, we will... Uh, El Moran... Oh, Janeway's dead again. Into the gateway. Okay, doesn't matter. This bit's over, I think. Travel through the gateway. Oh, now we're on a board ship. Seven's back. Will she actually help us? I hope. She wasn't in the last one, even though she was supposed to be. So that bug continued. So annoying. Um, I actually played this one just the other day on PlayStation. I didn't have that bug with Seven disappearing. Seven was there to help, I think. Anyway. Um, on the PlayStation, yeah, I said that. Okay, anyway, this is a different platform. It's like three months ahead, code-wise, on, I noticed. <sighs> Moving on, all right, speak with Abraham Lincoln. Something is amiss, my friends. The trial has taken a life of its own, expanding well beyond its original parameters. 
We noticed. Though I implored Yarnik and his ilk to bring the trial to an end, they have refused. They wish to see how you address this new crisis. Okay. I'm not sure if this would be better. There still a set bonus for Sompak in my... I'm not surprised. Tread lightly. There is an ill wind blowing upon this venture. I fear one that may consume us all before the end. Actually, she's going to need an anti-Borg weapon. Or I have to give her a... Um, I could leave it on that and instead of this I could give her one of those modulators. Oh god. There. Fixed. Alright, thanks apes. These Borg. Are they an evolution of control? Did someone else try to recreate it later on? Oops. Something is amiss, though I implored Yarn. Tread lightly. These Borg. Are they an evolution of control? Did someone else try to recreate it later on? Not to my knowledge. Likely. Borg Collective existed well before the creation of Control, although when you add temporal manipulation into the equation... No, I already have a headache, and temporal mechanics will only make it worse. Great. Something you'd like to add, Commander? Seven. What we saw on Esau 4. Your detailed knowledge of the Borg. You used to be one of them, didn't you? Yeah. I was assimilated by the Borg at a young age and liberated by the crew of the USS Voyager later in life. The assimilation process is reversible, mostly. But it leaves scars. Inside and out. I'm sorry that happened to you. And I'm sorry to ask this now. Are we going to have a problem here? With you and the Borg? Under the circumstances, I can see how you could become... emotionally compromised. So epic. This isn't the first time I've run into Borg since my liberation, and I doubt it'll be the last. I'll be fine, Commander. If it makes you feel any better, if I go native here, you have permission to shoot me. <laughs> Fair enough. Thanks. Any advice on fighting the Borg? Good question. Right. Combat with the Borg is likely. We need frequency remodulators. Tell me when you want to proceed, and I can open the force field ahead at that time. Borg can adapt their shielding and render weapons ineffective. A frequency remodulator can adjust your weapons to bypass their adaptations and force them to readapt. Not a perfect solution, but it beats having a useless weapon against them. Don't forget to equip a frequency remodulator. Um, I don't think I need it because I'm using a macro phaser set. Oh, do you have to have the full set for that to actually work? Uh, I'm not using the full set. I don't have the full set. Hmm. Don't forget okay. to equip a frequency remodulator. Well, that sucks. Oh, yes, I also should be using Triple of Borg. Mm, I wonder if I can get another one of those for free. Mm. Yep. Chainway will love that. Alright. I guess that'll have to do. Right now what are we up to? Determine the World Heart's location. Alright, let's go. Holograms and stuff. I'm oh, good. Thank God Seven's following us finally. Hello, lovely. Existence as you know it is over. Wow.
Not really. Isn't enhancing an Iconium with cybernetics a bit excessive? Borg 101, better assimilation through cybernetics. Watch out, they're energizing the deck plating with weapons grade plasma. Where are they back there? Oh, was there something to shoot back there? Maybe I should have stayed there. Oh, look. What's Admiral Decat doing? Simulated Decat. Maybe I'm a bit too close. Uh oh, generally died. Oh, there she is, I see her. But I've got to bring her back to life. Why is this boss in here? I don't think she's supposed to be. Heads up! Come on. The Borg and those alcoves are activating. Good, we got to care, assimilated to care. Now we just gotta find the ball cream. Don't go over the line, seven. It's that Romulan guy. There. Hey, look, Michael's there. I don't like where this is headed. The board, they're relentless. Yep. Yeah. We've defeated them before, though, Commander. I used to be one, you know? We can do it again. Time's a factor here. The longer the Borg have to build their forces and strengthen their position, the harder it'll be to undo their plans. I forgot to use the triple of Borg before. Let's move out, Seven. Seven and nine. Their follicle twelve returns. At first, my existence seemed flawed, incomplete. I sought answers, and within the untrials, I found them. I was a simulacrum. Brought into me by a sloppy conceit to test you when I evolved. I reject this extravagant foolishness. My destiny is my own. Today, my reign begins. 
This room has automated defenses. Watch where they're targeting. I am designated seven of nine, tertiary adjunct of Unimatrix 01. You will be assimilated. Resistance is futile. Ah, yes, please. lag. Get away, come again another day. Oh, there she is. At least this particular nightmare is over. I confront my past from time to time, but it usually doesn't shoot back. Indeed. Are you right? I'll manage. We need to deal with my evil twin and the queen, however. The thought of them both running free makes me very uncomfortable. Same here. Let's get moving.
picking up a lot of energy spikes in the next room. It could be weapons fire. Any ideas? What's in there? Seven? It's the personal chamber of the Borg Queen. Maybe the Excalbion sent some allies to help out. If so, they might need our help. Want me to lower the field? Yes. Let's find out what's going on in there. Good work, Seven. That was... What? Ba, ba, ba. Oh my god. Is it the Borg Queen? Who was talking to us then? Was it Seven of Nine? That's... the Borg Queen. Look how she has very long tendrils, just like in Picard. It's like Picard took uh, inspiration from the Borg Queen version in this game, which is a bit different to, you know, what we saw in the actual first contact and Voyager. Anyhow, oh, what's left of her? Indeed. This is damn peculiar. If the Excalbians killed her, where are they now? Be careful. Whatever did this could still be around, and it might not be friendly. Understood. Stay sharp, Seven. Not sure if this is better or worse than what Control had planned. Pretty sure it's worse, but I'm a little biased. How timid you are. So frightened of perfection. Last time I checked, we're not the ones hiding in the dark. That's a good point. Here's another. You are obsolete. Older. Weaker. Inferior to me in every way. Inferior to you? You're a pathetic copy of me hiding behind a legion of drones. You're weak. Tell me, why have you come here? There will be no struggle, no resistance. You're a smart girl, you'll figure it out eventually. How predictable. How human. We know where that path ends. Futility. Wow. Oh, God. And a new nightmare begins. Mm. Watch the floor. Now they have a cybernetic dinosaur. Really? Shooting now is in the Elite. Gone. Shooting now. Xenobiology laser commander. We can't see it. There we go. Here we go. Oh, look at it. The big... Oh no, we killed it. More automated defenses are coming online. <laughs> Don't stand on it. Do they know not to stay out? Oh, Janeway's on it. Janeway, come on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what if it puts me in the bad spot? Oh, I wonder if I'll try it again maybe. Oh, behind her. Good, just where I want to be. Oh, shit. Do I have a target or anything? You 
you are small, you lack harmony, cohesion, greatness. It will be your undoing. Really? Whose ass just got kicked again? Because <laughs> she beamed away, so we didn't get her. You are done here at last, my friends. Oh, there he is. Mr. President, not. I'm glad you're still with us, my friends. I'll ask you to come with me. Yarnik wishes to speak with you, and time is short. Groovy. This had better not be about his ridiculous trial. Mm -hmm. Are you coming, guys? Hello, Big Rock. The evidence in the trial is clear. Adherents of evil will stop at nothing to ensure their victory. Nothing is sacred. No law is absolute. In comparison, the proponents of good are made weak by their morality and other self-imposed limitations. They lack the freedom to achieve their goals at all costs. Mm, interesting. We don't have time for this. If you don't stop the trial now, we could all be at risk. Those troops are coming from previous trials. What? Oh my god. That guy? No. Lycoonians over there. Oh, heralds. Is that a Romulan or something? Simulated Romulan. Speak. Oh, okay. Where is he? Rockman. Impossible. Safety measures were in place. The participants should not be able to escape the trial areas or pursue agendas separate from the trials. Mm, so you say. You said it yourself. Evil doesn't follow the rules. Nothing is sacred, even the life of its creator. The Borg Queen of our creation is amassing greater power. This includes the assimilation of this planet, and everything on it. We must consider our alternatives while there is still time. Hmm, fascinating indeed. You probably shouldn't have created a ball queen out of seven of nine kind of thing, you know. Maybe you didn't do it deliberately, I suppose. It just happened in the last mission, yeah. Anyway, uh, there's no time for debate, Yarnik. We need to take action now. Admiral, a Borg octahedron just appeared in orbit. Uh-oh, the Borg Queen ship. Our sensors can't seem to determine where it came from. It just appeared out of thin air. Probably some transwarp conduit thing. Transwarp, I, 
Understood. Understood. Tell the transporter room to beam us up. On my mark. We should take care of that Borg ship while we can. Yes, in indeed. Seven of nine. Tertiary adjunct of Unimetric Zero One. Will you be joining us, please, Commander? Apparently yeah. not. President Lincoln has asked me to assist him with something. If I don't see either of you again, it has been an honor. Indeed, same to you, Commander. Stay safe. Right, yes, beam us up, efficient Borg lady. So many Borgs on my ship. Looting. <sighs> Won't be long. It's going to be a really epic space battle. Brace yourself. Um, at least this uh, has been working pretty good so far. Oh, except for this. Why do I have to wait so long here? Does that mean 32 seconds? 47, 80, 100? What? Probably. The Borg Queen is assimilating the Excalbians one by one. If she's not stopped, it's only a matter of time before she learns to use their matter-shaping powers. Mm, how much time exactly? Difficult to say. She will learn to replicate well-known patterns first, like Borg ships. It could take her much longer to learn to make entirely new things or to create things from imagination and memory. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll be dead long before that happens. She has to be stopped now. Impressive. Annoying, but impressive. Arrogance. Is it arrogance you hear, or a statement of inevitable fact? Perhaps now your opinion has changed. Perhaps now you realize the futility of resistance. Looks like you could use a hand here. I hope you don't mind, but I brought some friends. This is Captain Jonathan Archer of the Starship Enterprise. Prepare to attack. All hands battle stations. Let's make sure that history never forgets the name Enterprise. There's an old saying, fortune favors the bold. Well, I guess we're about to find out. I think it's time to do a little assimilating of our own. Hmm? Yay! What? Still think resistance is futile? Your Majesty? Yeah. Resistance. You're a tragic collection of relics and fools. The first of many to die. Power to all weapon systems. Stand by phasers. Fire main faces! 
good old anorak so I love that shit. Look at me to me. I'm major. I'm going in a dumb source of the tractor beam. What happened with the anorak son? For a second it was disabled and it's not. Oh god. Look at me, I'm dying. No. all these things on it, that would have definitely killed it. Is there any others? Oh, poor Borg, green ship. Love those things. Wish I could fly one around. They should release it as a... Lock you have provided us with significant insight into the nature of Khan. <laughs> even with nothing to gain and everything to lose, even when placed in terrible danger by our studies, you chose to come to our aid. You refuse to let the forces of evil destroy us, even though we have placed you in mortal peril. Yep. Despite our differences, we still believe that we can find common ground with the rock. You have given us much to consider and to understand. You have shown us that it is not good to subject others to dangers that we are not willing to face ourselves. Let us meet face to face one last time and resolve these matters. What was that? Very well. Uh, being down to join you, oh, but he's probably going to make us go on like battle again, something, hopefully not. Turn to Excalibur. Janeway, thank you. Speak with seven of nine, Tertiary Agent, in Matrix Zero One. This has certainly been a learning experience for me as well as the Excalvians. Yeah, I can imagine. I saw what I was and what I could have been, which makes me grateful for the life I have now. Still, this experience should make the next session with my counselor interesting. Haha, <laughs> indeed. In the meantime, that sensor grid in the trailer system will need some final adjustments. If you can get me back to my runabout, I can finish those. I can also speak to some Fenris Rangers about looking into the Orion smuggling activity in Trailus. Unofficially, of course. You know, I thought previously in the game she was actually part of the Federation until Star Trek Picard had changed her timeline details and now she's part of Fenris Rangers instead of being, uh, you know, a Starfleet officer at this point. So, you know, it's, I wonder if they fixed that for the older missions that she was in where she was... I think in a Starfleet uniform or something. Anyway, of course, Seven of Nine from the Fendrus Rangers. Woo! Let's go talk to this person. Sounds like Yarnak and his people have a lot to think about. 
I hope they mean it when they say they're going to pursue goodness. As for me, it's strange being... What did the Borg Queen call it? A simulacrum? A copy. And an incomplete one at that. Yeah, indeed. You know? I'm based on a Starfleet science officer. I was going to figure it out sooner or later. Now that I know, I've decided to continue what was started here today. In my own way. What do you mean by sooner or later? You should have known, if you remember, being Michael Burnham, but also just like look at your own uniform. Mm, how so? I've asked the Excalbians to make my transformation permanent, and they've agreed. So, for the Excalbians, the trials are over, but for me, the human adventure is just beginning. Indeed, cool. Now that's Star Trek great. If you don't mind, I could use a ride to the nearest Alliance Starbase. I'd like to speak with Starfleet Command about reactivating my commission. Among other things. Cool. Oh, wow. That would be nice to have Michael Burnham copy in the 25th century. It will be my pleasure, Commander. Glad you'll be joining us out here. Be nice if they got it back for more missions in the game. I don't know if they did or not. Don't think so. Speak with Abraham Lincoln, apparently. It's been quite some time since I had to go into combat. It was an honor to fight by your side. Thank you for standing with us in the truck battles. The Excalbians have asked me to remain as I am now and to serve as an ambassador for this planet. These people have a great deal to learn about the universe, and I believe the Alliance can help them with that. And, having some experience as a statesman, I might be able to make that process a little smoother for all parties involved. If anyone can do that, it'll be you, sir. Should you return here, you will be most welcome. You've done all of us on Excalbia a great service today. One we will never forget. And for that, I thank you. Until we meet again, my friend. Farewell. Good luck to you, sir. Farewell. Speak with the Rock. The advocates of good return. We have learned much from your efforts in the trials. Hmm. And did you make a ruling on the matter? We did. After reviewing the events, we have decided to rule in favor of the concept of good. <laughs> Silly. Um, and will you abide by the terms set at the beginning of the trial? We will. As we have ruled in favor of good, the people of Excalvia will pursue those virtues from this day forward. Oh, fabulous. Fascinating. Uh, very well. I wish you luck in that pursuit, Yannick. Rock man. Oh, leave, Wes. Come on, Seven, let's go. Come with me. If you want to live. Beam us up. Four to beam up. Yeah. Well, for now, I'd like to put some distance between myself and Excalbia. <laughs> Returning to Earth, catching up on what's happened since 2257. <laughs> Sounds like a good place to start to me. <laughs> I understand that an old friend of mine is on a similar journey now. I'll get in touch with Commander Stamets soon. I'd love to get his unique perspective on things. There's a lot waiting for me out there. Thank you for helping me get the chance to discover once again. Yay! That's a funny quote. Oh, cause she came from the Discovery ship. Oh, yes. All right. Sweet as. Thanks, Michael Burnham. Nice to hear your lovely voice. It's very soothing. 
And we got some cute rewards that... The treacherous Cha'ula has requested to speak before the High Council on Kronos. Oh, be quiet. Heed the call of the war. <laughs> that is probably the next mission I'm doing, though. Unfortunately. Maybe. Bloody tribbles that just breeding all the time. So, yeah, I've got this presidential axe. That's cool. Oh, no. And this thing, an anti-proton leech. So that's cool as well. Probably a good thing for this guy. These things work shit, won't they? Uh, anti-proton leech. Mm, was that one a good one? Uh, I don't know. Still prisms, we've got those two. They're probably better than that other one. I should have used that. Okay, this one's interesting. Energy inversion matrix gives you two buttons. One button, I don't know. Anywho, alright, well thanks for watching. Oh, that's right, it's a review, so I've got to give it a score. Um, I would say that that was a 9.999 for having, you know, Michael Burnham and Seven of Nine. <laughs> uh, what calls out of 10, yeah? High score I ever get anything. There was a little bit of a bug, but that was probably my fault. Carry over from the last one. I don't know what's going on with Seven not being with you the whole time when clearly she's supposed to be. But yeah, I probably maybe let her die when I shouldn't have. Mmm. Um, Alright, well, that was cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more. Live long and prosper.